Yo, it's your boy J Rocket checking in, man. Fucking with music here, radio the long way. Y'all know what we doing, man. I'm in Atlanta, Georgia right now. Taking off right now. Numbers going crazy, everything going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Fat boy, dumb swag. Big wavy, big dripper. Bad bitch tipper. Y'all know what type of time I'm on. Yo, bitch favorite fat nigga. All of that. The journey been a struggle, man. This shit wasn't easy. You got this shit 10 plus. Just really just grinding that shit out. Video after video, song after song, project after project. Nigga just been pushing, man. <clears throat> I finally caught my wave. Now nigga going crazy. First song that got me popping was in 2017. I dropped Carried Away. It was a local single in Detroit that just kind of like migrated down to Atlanta a little bit, down to Miami a little bit, Ohio. We actually took the show on the road like all over pretty much the country pushing that record. So I was pushing that for like two years straight, 2017, 2018. So then we decided it was time to regroup, you know, me and my team. We decided it was time to regroup and, you know, come. Now we just started dropping, you feel me? We had a lot of music, you know, that we were we were still working throughout the time of us just pushing carried away. But since we had such a big, you know, theme, you know what I'm saying, with that record, we just decided to keep pushing it because we knew it'd take time to break a record, you know what I'm saying, if it don't all directly go viral. My brother passed away 10, 10, you know what I'm saying, 10, 19, 19, October 19, 2019, so. Yeah, so my brother passed away. I ended up writing a record like two days after he passed. I didn't want to put it out at first. It was personal. You feel me? It was a grieving tool. I used that to fuck me, my family, and my friends to get through, you know, losing somebody that close. So, you know, that was my right hand. So, it was, um, I used it as a, just a tool for me and my family to grieve at first. And then everybody liked the record so much, they like, man, put the record out. So I put it out on YouTube and just started, you know, just testing it. And the record started doing well organically, like without me doing anything, just off word of mouth and just the text messages that got sent between the family and maybe they sent it to some people. So then after that, the song kept growing. And then uh, we decided to shoot the video um, on December. 16th or 14th is the day we shot it but 16th is his birthday so we decided to shoot the video on his birthday we shot the video we got the video back i was scared to put it out because i ain't know if i um i ain't know if i was ready to uh really see that visual over and over again i knew it was gonna blow Cause it was my everything, you know what I'm saying? My heart, my soul, you know, I poured everything into that. Tears, lots of tears, majority tears, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so we did that. I dropped it, you know, pushed it and, and it took off. Man, like my team was everything. Like me and my team really locked in. And they just been working diligently with me, man, and they, they, you know, with us all pushing, you know what I'm saying, QCP, end up seeing the video and posting the video, and I went viral. Hip hop, yeah, like, really, it was a few things that helped me go viral. Like, for one, I was already doing my own promo and my own pushes, and then, you know, I was on different little platforms, but at first, it was really organically um, Lil Bankhead from 94.5 down here in Atlanta. Um, he posted my video. Me and him is real close like this too. And um, also DJ Calvin as well. Um, he worked with Russ and stuff like that. He was, you know, he posted my video as well. Yeah, Russ, the artist that he worked with. He worked with me. He worked with a few really talented individuals, man. And, uh, so does Bankhead, man. It's just the day they really accepted me with welcome and, and arms, man. You know, as far as this music go, they seen my grind, they seen, you know, that. So they always been, you know, working with me since Carried Away, for real, for real, since I've been pushing. And, um, yeah, like, they posted it, and then Lando from Hip Hop Lab posted it. When Lando posted it, I went viral in the city. Like, when Lando posted it, Everybody in the city started reposting it. Everybody in the city just went crazy. So that's what helped me catch my, like really catch my heat. 
You know what I'm saying? It was like, I got different kinds. he locked up Detroit for me. I got different kinds. Bankhead, Calvin, and them doing that to my management. My team, B and A management, you know what I'm saying? Bianca and Angie, they pushing, they using all their resources. It was a collective, you know what I'm saying? Then once it got to PP, seen it, and he posted it, and it took off. Yeah, once he did that, I think I got like 3,000 followers, 3,000, 4,000 followers. I'm like, like a day or two, some crazy shit, like. The day that we shot the My Brother video, we shot it on December 14th. His birthday is December 16th, but the 14th was the weekend. So we shot it on his birthday weekend. Um, we shot the video on Armour Street on Puritan Avenue. That's in Detroit, Michigan, on the west side. That's where he grew up at. So we shot it in his hood, at his, whole, at his old house where he grew up at, where we all had our, you know what I'm saying, our, our, our memories of. You know what I'm saying? So that was um I was cool. You know what I'm saying? So we we got, I got everybody together, my family, his family, our friends, everybody, we all got together. We shot the video, I directed the video, you know what I'm saying? And just placed everything, you know, just made everybody wear their shirts and you know what I'm saying, and just just pretty much orchestrated. I direct all my videos. This is not just a flute. You know, everybody think like I just made my brother, like that was gonna be it. Like, no, I really got this shit. I'm a, they gonna have to deal with my pen for the next 30 years. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell you, maybe longer than that. Shit, my next 50. They gonna have to deal with my penmanship. I'm not got a big ass bottle. Drinking Patron. Shouts out to Patron. You know what I'm saying? I was sponsored. You know what I'm saying? Through Gateway from Patron. Well, thank you so much. So, you know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Al Capone. Cause that's all I smoke. You feel me? But, uh, nah, but, um, no bullshit. It was crazy, man, to go viral. You know what I'm saying? I never, uh, oh, you know, you always hear stories about somebody going viral. You know what I'm saying? And then you fuck around and go viral. You feel me? Like, your phone don't stop ringing. <laughs> your phone don't stop making noise. Oh shit just go ballistic, your phones don't stop ringing all day. Everybody and their mama calling you, everybody and their mama reaching out. It's just different, like, it's a different feeling. It's kind of overwhelming, I ain't sleep for the first four days. You know what I'm saying, when my shit was going viral, I ain't sleep for the first four days. You know what I'm saying? I just ain't sleep for the first four days. I just kept watching my phone and I just couldn't stop, it's just thousands and thousands of people. like, I had 100,000 impressions. Like a hundred thousand people went on my page and it was just like when you just got so many, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit crazy. It, all like some of my favorite artists that I listened to and reached out to me, like, bro, you going hard, yeah, my DM, like just just really showing a lot of love. And it's just crazy because I never thought in the middle like I've been waiting for this moment my whole life and then for it to finally be here. You know what I'm saying? That's it's the greatest thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? So the feeling is crazy. The feeling is amazing. It's like a it's like a it's like a nut that won't stop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like that bitch keep going. Like it's amazing. Working with some Atlanta artists, working with some Detroit, really working with artists all over the country right now. Cause I'm in Atlanta. This is pretty much a central hub. If you really want to work with different people, different sounds, different, you know, markets. Just, this is a melting pot of music, love, culture. I love it down here, so I'm down here working my ass off. So this is this is really a work trip. This ain't really, nah, you know, I might pop out in the mall or something, but this is really um, me busting my ass right now, so. <laughs> I love it though, that's what I signed up for. I signed up for the work, you know what I'm saying? My work ethic speaks for itself. So it was it was a different agenda with that record, bro. Like, you know, I can't even listen to the record more than three times without crying. So and that's still to this day, and I'm the nigga that wrote it. <laughs> so I can imagine what it do to other people. And I just realized, like, shit. After that, after I did If I Ever Fall, it opened up the lane for me to be able to talk about my truth, my my pain. It made me comfortable. It's a that's it's really a painful process to write music like that. Or whether people understand it or not, like I cried the entire time me writing it. 
I cried the entire time you recording it. You know what I'm saying? I cried the entire time I performed it the first time. So it's just like, it's so much pain in that record. I'm crying. Damn, the whole fucking song, shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, not trying to be funny or nothing, but like, I'm really young. That record has so much pain in it, man. It's my all. My blood, sweat, and tears is me. Me and him done been through so much, you know what I'm saying? So it was like, for him, for me to be where I am right now and for him not to be able to see me here, it kind of hurt. It hurt. Because we finally up now, you know what I'm saying? Niggas on with it. This is what we been working on. And I'm like, damn. We be like, yeah, Goggles did that. Because, you know what I'm saying, his little cousins and shit, they was pushing the record like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I was pushing my shit on my arm. Really, honestly, that shit was the family and friends who did make that song go viral. That shit, that wasn't me. You know what I'm saying? I can, it, even when the song was circulating, that was them. Constantly playing it, constantly listening, constantly pulling up, constantly, what's that, what's that, what's that? Because at first, you had to be a friend of the family or a friend of him. So you had to be connected to him to get the record. You couldn't just be a regular. If I didn't know you, you couldn't get the record. Yeah, who would I love to collab with? Drake. <laughs> Drake, Roddy Rich. Meek. Definitely Meek. Whoa, what the fuck with? Kendrick. Cole. I like Young Boy. And I like Polo. Them, little, them the hardest little young niggas. And Kodak. <laughs> Them my little, them little niggas I like. The young niggas, young young niggas I, I like. I like them niggas sweet. Drake like my my favorite overall overall artist man. Like that nigga is just musically like a genius man and talented. I admire his hit making ability. Like every nigga like it's niggas who can rap and it's niggas who can make a great song. Like you gotta understand like. Yeah, it's cool to be the best rapper alive, but that's not gonna make you a multi-millionaire. Making you a multi-millionaire or a billionaire, however you however you looking as far to go, that's a great song at the end of the day, you know, hands down, you know what I mean? So just to be able to make that level of music on a consistent basis for this long, album for album, single for single, Drake is that. You feel me? Like as far as artists, like that I look at, like the niggas, the nigga cold, bro. And I want to work with him. I want to pick his brain. I want to learn from him. You know what I'm saying? I wanna, I wanna get that same. I wanna see what what he seen when he first got with Wayne. You know what I'm saying? Like that being just to see this nigga work type shit. That's what intrigued me. Like this shit. Like and like me, I don't give a fuck about a nigga having a name or none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It's the music. I want to make great music, not good music. Great music. Y'all go check out my new singles, man. You know, we got a few new singles out. We got My Brother Out, The Rain, Dedication. You know what I'm saying? We just dropped Stuck In My Ways. We got a few records out. What you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? So we got a whole lot of records out. Go follow me on Instagram at Music. That's J-R-O-C-A Music, M-U-S-I-C. Um... For bookings and features, you contact bookjrocka at gmail. That's B-O-O-K-J-R-O-C-A at gmail.com. Or you can go on Instagram and go to B-N-A Management Group. So that's at B-N-A Management Group. Um, that's my management team. Um, that's that's really, like, that's the squad. You feel me? Shouts out. I mean, artists that I'm working with right now, um, who I'm working with, shout out to Big Four Peas. That's one of my, he's a fire artist that I'm working with, man, engineer as well. Um, shouts out to Fat Ray 100. That's another fire artist that I work with. Um, fire, um, Tommy Global, another fire artist that I work with. Um, RBG Harden, he's an artist out of Atlanta. So it's like my camp. These are people I'm naming, that's in my, you know what I'm saying, camp. Uh, Mixed Breed, Bianca, you know what I'm saying? That's my management, her and uh, Money Maker Angela. They both um, are b &A management, so that's like, those was my go-tos, my right hand, my left hand. You know what I'm saying? So, no my, my babies, they, they make it happen. 
Um, shouts out to my mama, man. That's my that's my my mama's my aunties, my family. That's my rock. That's what keep the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? My team. For real, for real. All my all my guys, man. Everybody I work with. You know what I'm saying? We we here. Y'all wanna give a big shout out to Music Heads Radio. You know what I'm saying? My man Yah Goat been rocking with me for a long time. See what y'all really don't know is I'm one of his, I'm a product of him. But y'all don't know I'm a product of Music Head Radio. He had the first studio I ever recorded in. Real studio was his studio. It was Music Head Radio, man. That was the first studio I ever recorded in, bro. I was a kid. <laughs> so, shouts out to him, man. He's still doing his thing, going crazy. We here now, y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, shout out to Music Head Radio once again, man. I'm in the building. Y'all about to get into my video, checking it out. World premiere, my brother, by your boy Jay Rocker, produced by Young Asco. Rest in peace, goggles. We love you. We miss you. We out. Let's get it. Oh, I made it up. I'm my brother, I'm around. That's my brother, I'm around. He gon' ride for me. If the pressure ever wrong, he gon' slide for me. Loyal nigga, hold you down to the fucking end. Gon' get your head knocked off, cause we locked in. You my brother, and I promise I'ma catch you if you fall. If this shit ever get thick, I'm willing to risk it all. If we ever come to eyes, can't nobody get involved. We might turn on that nigga just to get the problem solved. I done lost my dog, my right hand. For tea and trying to come up on the band Tell me how I'm both a couple something I don't understand How you gon' leave me and cast three kings to the end God goes you my brother, never call you my friend When we wasn't out of eye, we were still locked in They couldn't touch a hair on you, put that on my soul 10, 19, 19 is when my heart turned cold You won't even get to see me finally get my neck froze Or be on the side of me, my first stadium show Swear this shit hit different when your loved ones get chose Tate needed you the most and then you got called home I keep calling your line but you ain't picking up the phone Cry when I see your face Cry when I make the song That's my brother that I'm around He gon' ride for me If the pressure ever wrong He gon' slide for me Loyal nigga hold you down To the fucking end Gon' get your head knocked off Cause we locked in You my brother Then I promise I'ma catch you if you fall If this shit ever get thick I'm willing to risk it all If we ever come to eyes Can't nobody get involved We might turn on that nigga Just to get the problem solved Yeah, why you take my brother Away from me so early Don't you know that if I need him He's there in a hurry If they ever try to touch me It's 40s with 30 We ain't playing about this family This shit get ugly Hope this work can take the pain away I wanna fade away I drive myself inside his nail Wish that I could change today I swear this shit don't feel real Can't even explain today I had to wipe your mama tears She never felt no pain this way I know what you want us to do No one alive we living Ain't the same without you